Let's play a game. Let's do it. I am not looking forward to this, but let's get into this week's Duo Jam. My favorite. I'm sure it is. <laughs> so to recap, last week we did a battle of the cultures. Mm-hmm. It was the Miami Heat versus the Memphis Grizzlies. I picked the Grizzlies, team I'm very high on. Took John Morant, maybe another MVP dark horse. We'll see. He put up 163.6 fantasy points for me Monster week. week. Monster week. Huge week for him. I picked JJJ, which Jaron Jackson Jr. at the time I said might be a gamble because other guys have been playing. You know, it's it's been a real team effort. He came through for me, though. 130 points. Solid. They combined for 294.3 fantasy points for me last week. Now, on the other side of that, you picked the Heat. Yep. Yeah, Jimmy Butler. Huge week for Jimmy Butler. He put up 175.2 fantasy points. You paired him with the big guy down in the post, Bam out of bio. He gave you 122.2. Okay, he did okay. Yeah. You combined for 297.4 points. You bastard, you beat me by 3.1 points. I am 0-3 on the season. I am fucking sick of this. <laughs> I have learned through Duo Jam and Bet Brains that you are the corrupt Vegas shark that absolutely hustled me. As we said, we played four games before we ever aired an episode. I killed you in all four of those. And yet here you come suddenly with the most amazing Duo Jams ever. <laughs> I need to get a win. This is killing me. So this week, it's the Up Down series. Ooh, I like that name. Yeah. We had the Nets move down yep. and out of step, and we had the Nuggets move up. And I think it's only apt that those two teams play each other this week in Duo Jam. I'm picking the Nuggets. Okay. Because I want an MVP. I need an I need an MVP to help <laughs> me win. So I'm going with Nikola Jokic, who is having a huge fantasy season. Obviously, we talked about the triple doubles in January. I think that's going to continue this month. The second pick was tough for me Mm -hmm. because there's a few routes that we could go with this, right? And my first pick was Aaron Gordon. Let's get Aaron Gordon. Let's give him some shine. I like what he's doing. But there's a guy who I think is doing a little bit more right now. Aaron Gordon's not going to show up on a stat sheet at the end of the game. Yeah, He does the dirty work, and I think that's why he goes unrecognized. Yeah. So my duo to the MVP is Will the Thrill Barton. Mm. He is going to come through for me. He's had some big games in the last week. I think Will the Thrill has taken me over the line. Who do you got coming out of Brooklyn? I'm very, very interested to see who you pick on this roster. Yeah, I'll say I think I drew a little bit of the short straw here, getting the uh, really beat up Brooklyn Nets. (laughs) Um, But, okay, so the first choice, again, Fairly easy considering they have a road week, right? So that uh, really yeah. factored in for me here. <laughs> Not so, a single home game. Uh, yeah, so uh, I had to go with Kyrie Irving, who's, okay. who's been good. He's been putting up pretty decent fantasy points, and he's going to play in these games as long as uh, he's healthy. So I'm in, I went with Kyrie. Now, the second choice was really tough. And was it just say Blake Griffin and get it over with? It, my heart says Blake Griffin. <laughs> I'll tell you that. My heart says Blake Griffin. Um, but he's not getting minutes. You know, I can't go with a guy named Kessler. It's just impossible. It's just no, not gonna happen. <laughs> uh, James Johnson not consistent enough. Blah 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 he's been blah good blah. Lately. But there's a guy on their team I do really like who can go on a heater. And he's been good for me in fantasy before. That's Patty Mills. So I'm going with the straight backcourt. Wow. Kyrie Irving. Patty Mills. Wow. So Australia's backcourt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't even think about that. That's a good call. I am really hoping that the day-to-day on James Harden's hand ends pretty soon and it hurts (laughs) your chances here because those two have been really good and I'm not super confident going into this. That's going to be fun. The most fun part about this matchup, both teams playing four games this week. The last game is Sunday and it's the Denver Nuggets versus the Brooklyn Nets. Yeah. In fact, like you said, these teams are both playing a four and six. So a lot of chance for these guys Mm -hmm. to uh, put up numbers. I think the thrill is coming through for me. So we will we will check back next week yep. uh, and just poke our heads in and see what my first win of the season looks like. I'm very <laughs> yeah, excited we'll see about for that. that.